One real quick one on the Jesse Smollett verdict. Mm -hmm. um, both the president and vice president tweeted um, at the time of that attack. Um, the president tweeted, what happened to Jesse Smollett must never be tolerated in this country. We're with you, Jesse. The vice president called it an attempted modern-day lynching. Um, since the guilty verdict, are there any lessons learned here on uh, rushing to judgment when a crime is alleged? I think uh, there, are, there are lessons learned perhaps for everybody who commented uh, at the time, including former President Trump. I wish April Ryan was here because I think she asked him the question. I, do I see her somewhere or no? Okay. She just left where he said, I can tell you that it's horrible. It it's, doesn't get worse uh, in response to her question about the tri about the uh, about Jesse Smollett at the time. Uh, I would say that we respect the jury's uh, decision. Lying to the police, particularly about something as heinous as a hate crime, is shameful. Uh, instances of that need to be investigated fully, and those found guilty need to be punished. And false accusations divert valuable police resources away from important investigations. They make it harder for real victims to come forward and be believed. You know, if you look back at the time, it's also true and important to note that accusations of hate crime should be taken seriously, and they need to be fully investigated. But that's where everybody was looking at it at the time. But certainly knowing what we know now, it's important to also note uh, the danger of lying to police and lying about hate crimes and the fact that it diverts important resources. Go ahead, Kristen. 